President Trump is on his second overseas trip since taking office, and he just wrapped up a busy day in Poland and Germany. The president had a strong warning for North Korea and offered a preview of his agenda for when he meets with Russian President Vladimir Putin. German police clashed with G20 protesters on the streets of Hamburg. On the eve of the summit, President Trump met with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Tomorrow, the president has his first sit-down with Russian President Vladimir Putin. A crowd of thousands in Poland's Krasinski Square heard a preview. We urge Russia to cease its destabilizing activities in Ukraine and elsewhere, and its support for hostile regimes. President Trump is looking for a way to partner with Putin to defeat ISIS and stabilize Syria. Democratic lawmakers want the president to confront the Russian leader about meddling in the 2016 U.S. election. But Mr. Trump's comments at a news conference made that seem unlikely. Could very well have been Russia, but I think it could well have been other countries. Looming over the president's trip and G20 summit, North Korea's successful test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile. They are behaving in a very, very dangerous manner, and something will have to be done about it. Russia and China rejected additional sanctions at Wednesday's U.N. Security Council meeting. President Trump is not hiding his frustration as he weighs what to do next. I don't like to talk about what I have planned, but I have some pretty severe things that we're thinking about. Thursday, the president had dinner with the leaders of U.S. allies in the region, South Korea and Japan.